The Piton Mineral Waterfall is situated just off the road to the Jalousie Hilton Resort. The trail leading to the hot spring proves to be exciting and intriguing. At the end, the water beckons. You walk through the trail, then you descend, and then you'll be surprised to find out as soon as you reach the water, it's body temperature. Your feet will be in and you won't feel that you are, you are in water, you know, because it's um, body temperature, it corresponds to your body heat, and when you go through it, you might put one foot and then put the other foot, and then well, you, when, by the time you know, your whole body's in the water, and you don't even know that you're in water, you know, because it corresponds exactly to your body temperature, you see? and you might stay there for hours. What we have here basically is a, a thermal heated water, which is from the sulfur springs. We have a fault line going directly beneath the, the, at the top, and then it is preheated, you know, to about at least 100 degrees. And there are places where it reaches boiling point. 212 degrees. Then this water cascades down to the, to the falls, but before it reaches the falls, you know, it has a very cold water, almost freezing point, you know, and they blend. And these two waters, they give you a lukewarm water, which is not too hot or not too cold. But the pool was not always as it is now. The place was purchased in 1950, you see. But in those days, well, tourists were not as rampant as now, you know. So how it was really basically was um, the locals used to come every Sunday, you know. You have a fleet of locals coming every Sunday. I was a kid in those days, you know, a young boy. And they used to come, it was free. We realized, well, the tourists wanted to have a bath also, you know. because. Locals, you should take tourists up here, you know, to show them the place and to enjoy, you know. So we said, by all means, well, we have to develop the area in a way so that we can gain some revenue to maintain the place and to upkeep it, you know. Mm -hmm. Then we started, you know, starting a small fee. In those days, I think it was $1, you know, in those days. And the trail was not as the one we have right now, you know. It was lower down. Now, the water did not have a natural pool because the, the bottom was granite stone, you know, and that water wasn't, the volume of water wasn't big enough to penetrate a hole, you know, and to penetrate a pool for us, naturally. So we said, well, that water is too valuable to allow to go to the waste, you know. Mm -hmm. We should have a construction where you can have the water in one body, construct a pool, you know, bad water so that people can enjoy, more people can enjoy the water at a time. The Pito Mineral Bath is nestled in an abundance of natural foliage that complements the warmth of the waters cascading into its man-made pools. The combination is enticing. We have the waterfall, we have the prison right over the view of the prison, you know. And, uh, well, the ambience, well, basically is um, all nature, you know. I mean, trying to cultivate the flowers, you know, make it more pleasant to name the flowers, you know, to make it into a botanical garden, you know. That's basically part of the plan. It's great, it's fantastic, the water is warm. <laughs> And you have the natural greenery around it, so it brings out that natural feeling, the waterfalls, everything. Oh, beautiful, fantastic, lovely. I cannot really describe what it is. Just lovely. For the surrounding communities, the spring is more than a natural wonder to be enjoyed. People who live lower on the fall, they um, utilize the water. It comes through their home. They have pipes and they use the water to wash clothes and to bathe, you know, and uh, they themselves, through the popularity of the place, some of them, well, the tourists come around. The off spin is they find tourists to take up the piton, you know, because with a volume of tourists around, you know, they can make contact and then by, by, by the popularity of the place, they came up the piton for a fee, you know, so but that's an off spin, a spin off from the, from the waterfall. The way it is right now, it's almost like a self-employed area, you know, as we 
just left to itself. You have a gatekeeper and a gardener. You see, at the moment you have about three people employed there, you know. That kind of marriage between natural resources, host communities, and tourism is exactly what the St. Lucia Heritage Tourism Program is about. And the program's officers have provided technical assistance and advice to the developers of the Piton Mineral Bath. We have a booklet, a booklet at the booth, and that um, the work that they did was mostly on the possibilities and prospects of the place. You know, the potential. You see, the potential in terms of um, having a bar, a restaurant. You know, and trying to develop it like um, to accommodate um, night bathers also. You see, yeah, at the moment it's only for the, it's only a daytime affair. You know, but. They want to accommodate it in a way that you can come and be at night, you know, have lights around the, the trail, you see, and to enhance it, you know, and to have a day and night operation. But at the moment it's not possible for us, you know, because we haven't got power up there, you see, there is no power. And they give us a valuation as to the amount of visitors and everything like that. And people do come, the numbers increasing steadily. During the in season, you have, have at least 100 people, you know, 100 people come in that place, you know. Both locals, you know, I mean, locals that are overseas, you see, and tourists. And they come and they realize, well, it's a small area, but they, they see the, the volume of water in the pool and they appreciate that, you know. And they appreciate the bar because, well, maybe they come in groups of 20, sometimes 10, and they all can come in and have a good bath and enjoy themselves, sit around. And in the pools, we have those benches where you can sit, you know, those benches in the pool where you can sit around, you know, and have a good conversation. And you can stay there for hours and they enjoy it, you know. And tell us, well, it's quite, uh, well, it's one of the features of St. Lucia, you know. Because most of them reach it above uh, the, 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 the bath in St. Lucia.